you guys. I'm filled with joy for the chance to read another story with you. So let's get started. I have this story picked out for you. And this book has a big flower on the cover. Did you know that most flowers grow from teeny tiny seeds? Here, I'll show you a picture of some small seeds. These little dots in the air, those are all teeny tiny seeds. And all of these seeds want to grow up to be big flowers one day, but only some of the seeds make it. Some of the seeds don't get to grow up to be big flowers. So let's see which seeds are able to grow up to become big flowers. This book is called The Tiny Seed. And the author of the book, the person who wrote the book, is Eric Carle. So let's go ahead and get started. It's autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high into the air and it carries them across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? This one here is the tiny seed. It's smaller than the rest. Where do you think that all these seeds are going? Do you think that the tiny seed is going to be able to keep up with the other seeds? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. See, this seed got too close to the sun, it got burnt up. But the tiny seed over here, it's doing fine. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. See, this seed didn't make it. This seed landed on a mountain. It was icy and it was too cold for it to grow. There's the tiny seed following along. It wasn't following as fast as the others though. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and it drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed doesn't go as high as the others. Huh. So we started the book with 10 seeds. Let's see how many seeds we have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seeds. There's only seven seeds left. We started with 10, so that means that three seeds didn't make it so far. Let's see how many of the seeds make it and become flowers. One seed drifts down into the desert. It's hot and it's dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low but the wind pushes it on with the others. See, there's the tiny seed. It's flying a little bit lower, but still moving along with the other seeds. But this seed didn't make it. It landed in the desert and it was too hot for the seed to live. So this seed didn't turn into a flower. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently to the ground. A bird comes by and eats one of the seeds. The tiny seed is not eaten. It's so small that the bird doesn't see it. So we started the book with 10 seeds. Let's see how many seeds we have now. There's one, two, three, four, and then see the tiny seeds right here. So that makes five. So we started the book with 10 seeds. We have five left. 
That means that five seeds didn't make it. Let's see how many seeds make it by the end of the book. They all want to turn into flowers. Now it's winter. After their long trips, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like soft white blankets. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse doesn't see it. Oh, that seed got eaten, so he didn't make it. Now it's spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full that they start to burst open a little. Now they're not seeds anymore. They're plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun in the air. There's another plant though that grows much faster than the new little plants. It's a big fat weed. And it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants and that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It'll be too late, hurry! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. Look, now the seeds aren't seeds anymore. They're growing into plants, see? First, they started to grow their roots going down. They're down here under. And then here's the little sprout coming up. And there's the stem right there. And there are the leaves coming out. But this one didn't make it because the weed was hiding it. And so it wasn't getting any sunlight and the weed was stealing all of its water from it too. So this one, one died. So we started the book with 10 seeds. Let's see how many we have left. One, two, three. So three of them made it so far. That means that seven of the seeds didn't make it. There's only three left. Let's see if they grow into flowers. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun in the springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and oh, he broke one. Now it can't grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven leaves. And look, it has a bud too. And now it even has a flower. But what's happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. And then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. Now it's summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It's taller than the trees. It's taller than the house. 
and now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It's the tallest flower that they've ever seen. It is a giant flower. Oh my goodness, look! That's the tiny seed. The tiny seed grew into that giant flower. At first, there were 10 seeds, but now there's only one flower. Nine of the seeds didn't make it. It was the tiny seed that made it and grew into a giant flower. It didn't matter that that tiny seed was so small. It didn't matter that the seed had a hard time going as fast as the other seeds. And it didn't matter that that seed was the last one to start to grow. It was the only one that made it and turned into a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and the bees and the butterflies came visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it's autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and it bends from the wind. but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower and this time the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away in the wind. So look, the tiny flower started to die because it was the end of the season. But before it died, look, its seed pod opened and it threw all these seeds into the air. So that means that these seeds are gonna go on their own journey and they're going to all try to grow into big flowers. Hmm, I wonder how many of those seeds are gonna make it and turn into big flowers.